Hey, welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Berlin. This is my channel, and today we are playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, just gonna start doing this at the beginning of the stream and the end if I can remember, but as you come in, or if you're watching this as a replay, can you just give us a like because it's very helpful in boosting us in the algorithm, and a subscribe if you like watching these videos. And, okay, yeah, but, uh, further, and uh, without further ado, I don't know, I think that's how it's said. <laughs> we're done. We're just gonna keep going along with the main scenario today. Do not know why the map looks like that. Has it always looked like that? There's dots all over it. God. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm in front of the map. That's it. So we gotta go over to Swift first. That's where we are going to start our questing today. Also, I apologize. My nose is like extra stuffy. I don't know if it's allergies or if it's a cold. I just realized that I've had my window cracked open for the last... I don't even know how many days because I'd had a lizard in my house and I cracked it open to let the lizard out at night and I guess I never closed the window so I'm thinking that has made my allergies even worse than they usually are <laughs> because it just was like like it was raining last night really hard it probably blew everything in here yesterday because it was windy I can't, I can't believe I didn't even notice because I had closed at one point but then I came back in and I opened it again just in case it's so funny Good. I'm glad that you are looking forward to the journey. I am as well. Oh yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but the screen should look a lot cleaner to you all. I looked up some videos on how to change around. It's called the HUD. H-U-D. It's something something display. I forget what it means. It stands for. But... Yeah, so I was able to set it so it's not so cluttered and bulky. Which, it was driving me nuts, because I would get, like, I'd sign in and there'd be notifications popping up all over, and then there'd be, you know, so many bars over here and things over there. And, like, I have a map I can open up, so I didn't need the mini map. And it was getting blocked by the chats anyway, so when I realized, oh, I could get rid of it, then it was perfect. Because I could just press square, and that opens the bigger map that I can, like, zoom in and out of and stuff. I cover it a little bit, but, you know, we can just move it around to see things. Oh, yeah, speaking of, I want to look at where exactly this quest is. Which way do I gotta go? This way. We are off. Did a little bit of questing, side stuff, just to level up and open up some other things. Like just parts of side things that you can do, but nothing with the main story. Because I wanted it to be available so you guys could keep up with it. Because it definitely, it definitely seems interesting. It's definitely traditional Final Fantasy. Uh, a lot of the older games uh, had to deal with like crystals and like individual characters had a crystal they represented of the earth. It's definitely like old school Final Fantasy, which is cool. It's cool that they brought that back in a in a multiplayer RPG setting. This guy might attack me. I knew it. You bastard. Get out of here! It's so hard to target. <laughs> Go away. And I kick you! Oh, too late. I wanted to kick him. <laughs> the last thing to do was I like, kick him down. 
Oh, yeah. In MMOs, there's usually, like, a lot of side quests that you can do for more, just sometimes just for money or certain items. Yeah. That happens quite a bit. I played WoW, but I don't know the main plotline because I was rushed through it to get to the levels that everybody else was. So it's kind of funny. Okay. You say a yellow jacket sent you here? Eh? Me lights grow dim, has it? Well, of course it bloody has. The bomb what fuels me furnace has up and buggered off, you see? If I don't get that beacon fixed up soon, there'll be trouble on the water. I know you're just a messenger, lass, but I can tell a venturer when I see one. I'm going to need ye to chase down that bomb and bring back a claw what you ripped from its smoldering corpse. Take this here iron brazier and set her down in the middle of the flock. Somewhere near the scarecrow, I'd say. You get a nice fire going, and that frisky bomb will soon be, be about. Watch you don't singe your eyebrows, lass. Brazier? Brazier? A bra? <laughs> We're just gonna go put a bra down for it? Okay. Sounds good. Oh yeah, I remember seeing the scarecrow though. Where is... Where'd I get a cool? Oh, it's that way. Okay, avoid these vultures. Buzzards. If I can, they'll probably... Up, oh, up! Oh. Hey. Get out of here. Oh gosh. Okay. Still definitely tricky. Like, I don't have a quick way to close out of that mess. I gotta figure out if there's a way I can shortcut key it. Yeah, I don't know what it's all about, but maybe it's got a thing for bird if you find some food. Ay ay ay. These guys are angry for no reason. They don't do anything to you. Of course, you're both gonna kill over here. I don't know what this does. That's some kind of hit. Everyone's coming to join the party. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I know what that was about back in the day. <laughs> I don't know what it's about in this game. I was making a joke. I don't think we're really setting a bra on fire. <laughs> As a woman in America, I better know what the bra burning thing was about in the 60s. Okay, back to this. <laughs> oh no. Why is it so funny? Just a day. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, it's just also, it just looks like brazier. Which is also a bra. I was just making a joke. Hair brazier. To interact with it. Ah, oh, yes. Come on, you big bob. Oh boy. It's kind of cute, but kind of awful. I don't like these things. Oh, great! Now the little dodos are gonna attack you. Right. Blow up the dodo while you're at it.
Oh, the dodo is attacking him. Okay, thanks, dodo. But now oh, he's attacking. Him. Of course. Sounds like it belches. Rawr. Okay, you see that, dodos? Anybody else want some of this? I'll take you out. That's what I thought. Kindly leave me alone. It's experience. Probably not all that much at this point. This is so pretty over here. I was admiring it last night. After I changed my HUD around, I went and was running around this area. And that castle with that thing sticking out of it. Oh yeah, I'd probably go over real well around here. Get the bomb fired up. <laughs> Crisp up some dodos. <gasps> so uh, buzzard on the buzzard fries. You big jerk. <laughs> Nowadays, the older games are not quite so amazing. They were good for the time, though. They were really good for the time period. They've always tried to be... I don't know, you feel like... For any of the games I've played, it feels like they've really tried to put their heart into the... Games. I don't know about the new ones. They look good, but I feel I hear they're not so great. Like Final Fantasy 16. I played 15, and I did it. It's I can't remember much of it, so obviously it didn't impact me very much. But it looked pretty. It looked very pretty. All you need to do is take that that runaway bomb and bring me one of its little claws. Oh, well, you know what? Got you. Ah, you got the ashy bastard, did you? Once I put this little firecracker in the furnace, that should keep things running for a while. I had myself a, myself a bit of a look while he was gone, and Limlayan cursed me if the furnace were all bent and broken. Small wonder the bloody bomb was able to escape. Hi, Judy. I patched things up as best I could, but it ain't no, but I ain't no smitty. You might want to have a chat with that yellow jacket friend of yours in Swift Perch. And have him pass the word back to someone in Limsa. Well, just great. Go talk to that guy then. <laughs> I know it's right there, but I don't feel like running through all these birds again. So we're gonna teleport. Oh, that must have been the fate. Okay. But I failed it. I wasn't even doing it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Freyloff, where are you? Ah, he was right behind me. Of course. The furnace is damaged, is it? Very well. I shall, I shall write up the relevant reports, but these repairs must needs be affected without delay. It seems I have another favor to ask of you, adventurer. Take yourself straight away to the Armourer's Guild in Limsa Lominsa and explain the situation to Forge Master Hidanza. It does. Yeah. It's like a fast travel in Final Fantasy Rebirth. Yeah, it's nice when games do that. Old games did not have that. 
<laughs> ah, Linsa, where everybody comes to just show off their clothing, their glam. Oh, or just run around naked. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> Just like looking, because we don't have cool clothes yet. Ugh, I'm too, too much of a little sprout. <laughs> you could get some really neat outfits. It's so funny how, like, some people make their character look like, you know, modern clothes you see in a regular city, and then others are like, Serving's a baked eggplant. <laughs> I should have gone after that. I love eggplant. Okay, so where are we only? Uh, was it the Marauder's Guild? Let me just check that. Uh, maybe? Master. Oh my gosh, get off my screen, please. There we go. Uh... Where is the Forge Master? Let's see. He's over there. That's... Can I just run to him? He might just be able to run to him. I don't think you're that far. But... I might be. <laughs> the limbs of map is hard to read sometimes. At least for me. I'm not good with maps. Uh, it'd be better to go down this way. Can I? I don't think this is the right way. No. This is not the right way. Pizza. Big dragon person. A lizard person. I guess I'm the dragon people. But you know. Yeah, it's, it's definitely unique, um, I feel like that's kind of common for MMOs, I don't know exactly why. Do wish more of the cutscenes they spoke, but that's, that's okay. I know, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth surprised me with how much, much they did have voices, like even the side characters and stuff, like, because it's, usually pretty rare or used to be it might be the new thing nowadays are we on the lower is it the lower or the upper what are we doing here? struggle with this too much. Oh yeah, I could see that. You hear a little bit sin. He's very eager. Oh, we're going. 
<laughs> Not here. A little green chicken. The chicken chaser. Flower? Maybe? It's a little less crowded up here. <laughs> uh, I think it's not that way. I think I went up <laughs> instead of. The guy that we need to. Kind of hate that it dropped me off here. <laughs> Lower deck. Yeah, let's be on. Ah, but I don't know. <laughs> baby over here. <laughs> Probably not, but baby. Where's the forger? These guys look like they beat him, but nope. Ah! Did I find him? Found somebody. Yay! I found you! The furnace of the brewer's beacon needs repairs? Burgout's beard. I just sent someone out to tinker with it not a week past. Maybe the bug Ken Swiss had trapped in there was a touch too volatile. I'll have an artist to visit the lighthouse and pay special attention to reinforcing the casing of that furnace. Your work is done here, adventurer. May the navigator guide you on your journeys. Hooray! Oh, none of these are good. My bandana is a better helmet than that. Are you gonna make me do something? No. What say you go take? Go, wait, what say you taking on some work from Naldika Vimelis? We have a great hulking warship to build and can certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks. For your first job, I need you to run this missive over to Edberg, the head shipwright at the Morabi Dry Docks. We forge most of the ship's pieces here at the Armorer's Guild, but the actual construction takes place at the docks found in the south of Lower Lenosha. That's also where you'll find the main offices of Naldik and Vibelis. The Murabi Dry Docks is one of Lim Salomita's most important districts, at least as far as I'm concerned. Oh, hi, Gemini. And I'm sure you'll not regret tuning yourself to the area's etherite. If you have no confidence in your sense of direction, you'd be best served making use of the Chocobo Porters, first floor of the Mizen Mast, in case you are wondering. Mizen Mast. Should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet, leave the city through the Tempest <laughs> Gate and follow the road south. May the navigator guide your steps. Uh, I may have already gone there. It's so squeaky.
Not so. Sorry, you got a tweak. Go fix this stinking furnace. Well, I guess they're taking care of it. Now we have to help with boats. The boat parts. It's burn. Howdy, howdy. It's a big, majestic looking being. Do you have a missive for me from Forge Master Gonza? I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of the materials I ordered over a moon pass. Let's see it then. Blast and botheration. Another delay? I am well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. <laughs> Sigh, my apologies. The messenger does not deserve the bear the brunt of my frustration. Burr, is it? Well, Burr, this proud maiden you see taking the shape before you is the victory. The first new vessel to grace the docks since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fateful day, but startling, starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship. It is a symbol of Lim Silliman's birth, rebirth from the wreckage wrought by the end. The coming of the seventh umbral area. Whew. Thus we are striving to complete her construction as swiftly as possible, even going so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside the Velasacrossi. These words are difficult. Yet with even with such unprecedented measure, measures, there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to linger at the docks for a time, there is no end of odd jobs for a hard-working adventurer. Be you fair ward, there is no place here for layabouts and troublemakers. Oh, thanks. Ugh. Well, I'm pretty lazy, so I don't know. I don't think I should hang around here. Oh, I leveled up! Woo-hoo! Level 70! Oh my gosh. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, there were people there. <laughs> Look at this guy's hat. That's pretty funny. A shipwright of mine, a young man named Firelsman, recently left Candle Keep Quay to retrieve several crates of supplies. Ordered from Limsilo Minsa, but has yet to return. I have sent several missives to Hal Hal Broda, but his replies are always the same. He does not recall ever seeing the right nor the supplies he was scheduled to collect. That man knows something, and I severely doubt he is telling me the truth. As I cannot leave my post, I would ask you to travel to Candle Keep Quay in my stead and inform Hal Broda that if he insists on playing these games, I will personally see that he is transferred to Turtleback Island where he can rot alone in the middle of the sea for eternity. We gotta go doubt. Doubt him. To go, yeah, well, I doubt that, sir. It's all the way down. This her way. Hi, Sean.
<laughs> Gotta be doubtful. I mean, yeah, I see you, but I doubt you. Hey, does that self reaches dog eight for doubt that I've never told anything less than the truth? Oh yeah, bruh. We got some serious <laughs> doubt. That was cute. <laughs> I'll question you. Turtleback Island? He can't do that, can he? Uh, I'm not sure, Gemini. I've just been doing quests. <laughs> I swear my poor Nana's grave. Navigator, rest her soul. I know naught of this spirals mid, nor his precious supplies. Hells, we here at the Quay have had enough trouble these past few suns. But with the sinking of that little mids and cargo ship off the salt strand, I haven't the time to take a proper piss, let alone make note of every scrag that wanders in off the grip. Well, you better, like, get better at your job or something. Okay. Do they look less like oven mitts? Uh, slightly less. At least they're... They match better. Now, the way I see it, if you have time to be standing here questioning my character, then you must certainly have time to get that arse of yours down to the salt strand and help us search for survivors of the wreck. Who knows? We may just run across this virals mid everyone seems so eager to find. Here's to hoping the navigator hasn't found him first. This navigator, man. It's going. So I wanted to do this one next. <laughs> this is true. Those, ca those casserole dishes, man. I don't know how far away. We're like very far away. I think. Where's this one at? A little bit yonder. <sighs> ah, I found you. You don't look so good, buddy. I, I'm Viral's mid. You say the foreman's wondered, <laughs> wondered me whereabouts? I thought he might be. But you must know, I cannot show me face at the dry dock until I've righted the terrible wrong I caused. Two nights passed. I made the trip from the dry, do dry docks to Candle Keep Quay. I just, as the foreman asked, the seas were right rough and the captain of the cargo ship was wary of bringing her too close to the cliffs so i paid a few coins to a fisher to take me out to meet her by the time we was halfway twixt shore and ship the swells had risen to nigh on ten yams and it wasn't long before the waves had hold of us try as we might to steady the boat nature's grip was too tight and we was flung headlong into the lomidson galley when i awoke both ships were gone, and the cargo I was to collect lay strewed across the salt strand. I have made every effort to salvage it, but the sands are crawling with, with kittern as I ate the wood with a sword, and now you see why it is I cannot return to the dry docks. Great. Okay, uh, I planned on doing that one today. I just was saving it until we st uh, streamed again. So... Sounds good. I figured since it was up under main scenario, it's probably something that was more important. Let's 
so like where is that oh just all of this area that makes sense over by these these guys here in egg diggers I guess the thing for that so. Target is right there. It's definitely close enough. So cool looking. Really? Oh, I was like, is that? Not an NPC, some lady. She's so pretty. Oh, it just like drops off. Whoa! Stand it. the stack. Get out of here. Jerks. They make weird sounds when they die. It's like a horn. Okay. Let's give this guy his items so that he can go back and face that guy and then... Then we'll make our way to this wake of destruction. Yeah! It's kind of like a whining toddler. <laughs> so funny. That night I was tossed into the sea like some doll of rags, and it weren't long before the world around me faded to black as I slipped deeper into the abyss. But lo, the navigator wouldn't see me to the gates of the seven hells, and I woke to find myself washed ashore. And here I've been, ever since, waiting for a chance to salvage my master's cargo. Well, you, today is your lucky day. So, Miss Parts, I, I don't know how I can repay you. I'll deliver the supplies right away, but first I must stop by the quay so that I might pay you your respects to the widow of the brave fisher who gave his life for a handful of coin. 
Could you tell Aunt Burb that I'll be back at the dry docks by daybreak? Many thanks, adventurer. I will not forget this kindness. Sure. Sure, why not? Is over. This way. There he is. Do -do 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 -do. I am relieved to hear that both Pyro's <laughs> mid and the supplies are unharmed. Though I was foolish for him to believe, it was foolish for him to believe that I would blame him for that which was obviously out of his hands. You see, there was no storm that day, and the seas here adjacent to the dry docks were as calm as a slumbering child. This leads me to believe that the trouble the ships encountered off Candle Keep Quay was of a less natural sort, the sort which the say again have been known to conjure. conjure. Right, we'll grab this, but then we're gonna go. Do that other wake of destruction. Burr, while I originally had doubts about your motives, you have repeatedly proven yourself an asset to Deldeek and my bellies. I still do not like you, but that does not mean I do not trust you. Kim Foda, head of the watch that here at the dry docks, believes that pirates may be plotting an attack on the victory, and she requires assistance investigating a group of unsavory individuals making camp nearby. I have recommended you for the task. Despite all Limsa Lomitsa endured before during and following the calamity, the fact that there are still those who would have turned their backs on the city-state so that they might line their pockets with a few handfuls of coin. Just the thought of it sickens me. <laughs> it's like, uh? Alrighty. This is like, all the way... Maybe if I go run from here. I don't know if it's faster to run from there or from here, but I gotta run from somewhere. Sure. Here we go. Oh, the quest is do angry pirates dream. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. <laughs> We'll get there someday, uh, I'll just gotta run. <laughs> someday we'll get a chocobo to ride on. Someday. Keep going. 
this way. Get that out of the way for a moment. Howdy. Oh, that was cute. Sleepy guy. Oh. <laughs> You know, I am curious. Probably everything tastes like chicken. <sighs> oh wait, you know, I think I tried to run this way before. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, that would be amazing. Oh, I can't go this way. I guess I do have to go the way that I was over here. <gasps> oh, yo, yo. We ran into this issue before, too. <laughs> I should have remembered, but I did not. Oh. <laughs> I can just speak with this person while I'm here anyway. Ah, yes, I, feel, I had a feeling you would be the one at Burns Head since you first arrived at the Morami Dry Docks. I have had my men watch you. Oh, there's no need to get angry. I make it a point to keep an eye on all those new to the area. It is simply protocol. And you'll be pleased to know that nothing incriminating was found. You appear to be a model citizen. That, and the foreman seems to think something somewhat highly of you. Uh, which I must admit is quite shocking. The man doesn't even trust his own mother. Very well then. I assume Adverb informed you of what your task would entail. The pirates, we believe, are conspiring to raid the dry docks for last seen, making camp near an ancient stone called the Mark of the Spitter. I would have you approach the men, posing as a lost adventurer, and see if you cannot somehow learn of their intentions. Chenango, stationed at the rear gates, can provide you with an exact location of the camp. Hey, stop it. Stop. They do. Yeah, be good boys. <laughs> Fabulous. But anyway. <laughs> Where am I? Down this way. I gotta go. Up, up, and away. Not that way. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, that's so cool. They're riding on the moon. <laughs> so fun. Did I take the bird halfway there and jump off of it? Will that work? Huh? Back tonight? No. Uh, let me see. I know, right? They just must, uh, must not have anything better to do. You know, these guards, they're like, uh, she looks like she could be a wily one. Like, what is over here? Anything?
Nothing I could get a porter to. Sorry. Oh, the red rooster stead is a lot closer. We'll just go there. Yeah, actually, let's ride a chocobo. Oh, I've heard the heard of the show. Or the I've heard somebody say that back <laughs> tonight. Maybe I've seen the commercial. All right, yeah, sit back, relax for two minutes. Oh, okay. This is cool. This is so cute. Ooh, like a moon pie. Those are so good. There's banana flavored ones. They're so good. I haven't had a moon pie in a long time. But with coffee, that would be amazing. Not the banana one, but like one of the chocolate ones. Be good. The vanilla ones are pretty good too. Got the Boy Scouts. Got hit hit up the Boy Scouts. Oh no, that's a good question, Sean. Oh, we lost our bird. Now we gotta get back to hoofing it. But that was fun. It was fun while it lasted. Mood buys. Ah, so much closer though. Ooh, hey. Yeah! Finally he was able to use the Jokobos. They came in so handy. Hold up. There we go. Got it this way. This will go quickly because we're really high level for this area. Because I was uh, following the main story. I'm not doing the quests that are for my job. <laughs> I know, they're so peaceful. It's so cute. I love everything about the chocobos. Sorry, little cute monkey thing. I gotta take you out. You. Oh, he's so cute. But they stole flower, and that's not cool, bro. I always think of that. I always think of Big Bird. And that might be. He secretly came from the land of Gaia or something. I didn't mean to use that. <laughs> yeah. Get him. Get him.
right? I, I believe it. I think so. So we'll get these flowers back to this guy, Scarred Bar. <laughs> And then we'll go to the guild. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that out of the way. Ta da! Like the tails just fly out when you run, fly out behind you. Nice touch. Uh oh. I think I have to go up there. Oh, it might be. It really could be. They have a lot of references on this game. It's so funny. All the eggs and milk of the world don't matter a lick without flour. True that. Not that flour is any good on its own, mind you. The Galagos just hoard whatever they can and get their filthy paws on. But now we've got the whole kit and caboodle thanks to you. It's a relief you are around, but at the end of the day, we're still utterly unprepared should this sort of thing happen again. It's a relief you- oh, I just read that. <laughs> That's fun. I love when shows will do that. Shows and games. I guess I'll just still talk to him, but... Keep watching the gates here at the stead, but my watch extends only so far. The stagecoach that was supposed to pull in today never made it past Blind Iron Mines. Word arrived not long ago that it was waylaid by someone or something. The coachman is a plucky fellow. If I know Wahoy Mahoy, he'll be poking around the mines, plotting to salvage his consignment. But ultimately, he is just one man. It would put my mind at ease if you could go to his aid. Wahoy Mahoy. Sure, eventually I'll do that, but right now I'm gonna go back to this place here. You dig? Limsa, Limsa. La La Land. Let's say it's a little sick. But I think I could eat their these uh, small ones to get there. Oh really? That's funny. What one was it? I thought there was an ether right there, I guess I was wrong. She's so cute! Look at this little thing! They're adorable. They're like little dolls. Oh, awesome! I like Daria. I didn't watch all of it, but I got through a lot of Game of Thrones. I stopped like midway through the last season, I think. Maybe the second to last season. In this way. There we are. Hello, lady. 
This game is making me want to play Final Fantasy XII and, like, actually beat it. <laughs> Should play that on the channel next, maybe. Let's keep going with the Final Fantasies. Welcome back, Burr. Your actions have saved many from needless injury and anguish. <laughs> yeah, don't make them mad. <laughs> Though your efforts are to be commended, there is yet much work to be done. Kujata, the object of your vengeance, has trampled a farmer's wagon as he thundered through the lands of Tiller's Rest. The foodstuffs spilled from the overturned way to have attracted all manner of hungry predators. Without produce for the market, the farmers will surely suffer for coin this season. Your duty is thus clear. Put down these rapacious scavengers and preserve the cargo. Great. Oh, yeah, I bet, Sean. Yeah, it was, it's, it was really big when it first came out. It stayed strong and then people got mad about it. Her dress is so pretty. So pretty. Alka Zolka. I really thought this person was a fat chocobo sitting there for a second. This ugly yellow jacket. Horrible. Yeah, I bet. That's what I figured. Of course, cash shops. Oh yeah, it's so it's such a bummer when you know you watch a series till the end and then the ending is terrible. Like, how could you just make the ending bad? Why'd you have to go and do that? I don't know what happened at the end of How I Met Your Mother, but I don't plan on watching it ever, so. <laughs> you can always spoil it for me. Whoa, the bike! Oh, uh, that was fun. Motorcycle. Okay, that's cool too, whatever that thing is. <gasps> Yay, Thumbs! That's awesome! Are you so happy with it? Well, that's okay. Five games is still a good amount of gaming on it, I, I think. Oh, I love watching uh, the cast read through the scripts for stuff. Nice. Very nice, Thumbs. Get those souls. Ah, this looks... Looks like you may need a hand here. Icebreaker. Oh! What the heck? Don't mind me, just so lowly sprout. Is that it? Or is that... <laughs> it's so cute. It's pretty. Sorry, reading the chat real quick. <laughs> That's so funny, Sean. 
Sounds like a good bunch of games that you got. So you'll have a lot of fun. That. <laughs> yeah, at least people are generally pretty nice in this game. I haven't met anybody rude yet, so. <laughs> You're no longer a sprout. How long does it stay there for? Like, when do you become not a sprout? <laughs> well, there you go, thumbs. Perfect. Now we can finally get back to, uh, yes, this man here. Just tell me I'm a marauder already. I like to speed up some raptors. Should be strong enough. I can do anything. <laughs> oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, just to get to Oh my god! Moogle! That's hilarious. <laughs> this guy's naked, of course. There's always one. Nobody has a feed me! Oh, GG. <laughs> look at this little cat. Oh yeah, Sean, look at all these. There's like a bunch of different kitties you can get that'll follow you around. I've seen a calico one. Oh, there's a little black one. I've seen a bunch of them. Oh, there's this really fat one. Ugh, it's hard to... Fat cat. <laughs> There's so many kitties, it's so cute. There's a couple of pups too, like there's these little wolf pups. And then I've seen some corgis. They need to have cocker spaniels added. Oh my gosh, that's perfect, Gemini. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. This, that must be the teacher taking the kids out for a class trip downtown. <laughs> Dust buddy, that's adorable. Aww. <laughs> Just sat through them. That's so cool. So funny. This is what I miss about MMOs, just like the funny little things like that. It's all real people, you know, when a group of nerds get together, it gets crazy. Going <laughs> where, where, where? Is she shorter than me? A little bit. <laughs> She made herself tinier than me. Yes, I really wanted to be the buddy person, but I don't. You have to have like the full game for that. And I don't, and I'm sad about it because I really like them. They're called Vera. They're really cool looking. They're usually in the Final Fantasy Tactics games. I don't know if... I know they're in 12, which was really cool to see them, because usually they're drawn all cutesy, because the Tactics games were, like, were chibi-style. So, Final Fantasy 12 was, like, very detailed and similar to this. So it was cool. That's where the Vera were first shown, like, 
all like cool and sexy. Cause they're sexy. <laughs> No, uh, no, it's interesting. They're all their own timelines, and a lot of them are in their own worlds. Uh, it's cool, but Final Fantasy XII is set in Final Fantasy Tactics world, which I'm not really sure what the world is, but <laughs> connected, but it's like not sure if they are. But yeah, you know, they're all their own stories and timelines, unless it's like Final Fantasy X, II. Or Final Fantasy XIII, too, that it's like the same characters from the original, but in a different storyline. But it's rare that they make a sequel. Not every so often. <laughs> Once again, your capacity for carnage has been tested and proven. The creatures you defeated, however, were merely some of the many base scavengers that subsist on the scraps left in the wake of Kujata's rampages. To face Kujata himself, you yet require far more training. But do not despair, Burr. As Axe Master and fellow Marauder, this I swear I will not rest until I have taught you how to wring every last oods of power from your weapon, till the blade of your axe can slice cleanly through the thickest hide, the most knotted muscle, the densest bone. This menace will fall by your hand. You may find yourself drawn to explore the possibilities offered by other disciplines and guides, Guilds. <laughs> These distractions are in inevitable, and perhaps as soon as you begin to show such potential, fare you well, Burr. Ooh. Well, I, all better, but this axe is better by one cloud axe. Uh. Well, they don't do. Are they the same things I'm wearing? Hooray! Armory is locked. You now have access to the armory system. Quests to unlock the other classes can be undertaken by speaking to the receptionist in the corresponding guild. There exist myriad disciplines in Orzia that adventurers can take up for the most rewarding experience. However, it is recommended that you first focus on mastering your current class. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> it's definitely possible. You never know. Good boys. You'd be nice. You'd be nice to Bobo. You have access to the armory system. Okay. It should be noted that in addition to martial classes, you may also choose to become a disciple of the hand. One who synthesizes items through on-hand materials, or a disciple of the land, one who harvests resources from the field. Mastering more than one class is the first step to becoming a well-rounded adventurer. Cool. Well. Oh, hi, Chip. I just got my armory unlocked because I'm amazing. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, this is the new one. Oh yeah, these are the same ones I was wearing. Guys, stop. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Oh, but they're a little darker. <laughs> so there. Change them up. I still look like I'm wearing boxer shorts. Like I've got chaps on with boxers. It's not just rage. And my the shirtless. I need like a better uh better shirt. But it's okay. Gotta love it. Good boys. Lay down though. Go on. Up up. Go. We're Silly dogs. Okay, we have a new task from this guy. I see you have been diligent in your training. You need not tell me in words. It shows in your bearing, in your unwavering gaze. Yeah, I am a slaughtering machine, man. It's time for you to once more lift your axe in service to the guild. There have been reports of a sizable creature roaming in the outskirts of Aleport in western Lenosha. 
The monster is no Kujata, but the threat it presents to the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention. It should also prove a worthy foe to test your burgeoning prowess. How to find this beast? Well, I am fortunate enough to count among many acquaintances a veteran hunter and archer by the name of Rain Rainfred. See, that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a hunter. <laughs> He took up residence in Aleport some years ago. We'll gladly aid you in this task. With Rainfred's assistance, you are to track down this prowling danger and provide it swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. May our axe swing true. But I just went with the big axe. <laughs> Ooh, I like the color, like her color coordination. Cute. Yeah. We could go back and do this one, I think, but where is this one? Okay, now let's look at it over there. Aleport, which we are attuned. Uh, Swift perch. Man. Maybe we should go do that one real quick. <laughs> it could be a bunny shirt. That's cute. It's so hard to say. There's so many like inside jokes of Final Fantasy and then references to everything else. Like this game has been around a long time. Uh, I forget if Gemini's still in the chat. They probably know. I forget when this one first came out. I know they kind of like, they, they came out and then they had to redo it because it was not good. <laughs> I guess we're going to continue with this Marauder's quest. Maybe we'll get better armor or something. We go, because now we're at level 15. Quests, so that's pretty cool. But we still have to run to it. Uh, where? How far? Ay ay ay! Where is it? Uh. Okay, so that's me, and it's over there. Not too far. Ways, but not too bad. this Skull Valley creepy got quests to do here with a hunter. But let me talk to this chocobo person. <laughs> I 
I love it. I love that there's all these different people. We're all playing the same game at the same time. It's so fun. Yes, I don't want to hire you, but I did want to update. Hi, you're somebody's chocobo. So cute. How come you're new and you have a chocobo? You're huge. Shh, guys, lay down. No, no, no. Shh, lay down. Go up, up. Come on, Bo. up. Up, up. Or go that way. Good boy. There you go. I'm sorry, my dog's just standing here staring at me. <laughs> they both put their feet on me. They just want attention. They've been wanting attention all day. Slime puddle. <laughs> He's so cute. Ugh. We gotta touch him. <laughs> Pet the slime puddle. <laughs> Ah, too easily amused. Hello, Orwin. Oh, maybe. I forgot about those. The slimes. Orwin the Adventurer's Guild representative for local leaf quests at Aleport is seeking an adventurer to undertake guild leaves. Oh, uh... Keep a record of tasks, what the local need do in, and dole them out to adventurers what look capable. Now, you look capable, but the last thought I reckon was tough enough. Got his face bit off by a bleeding war frat. Wow, he's lame. You need to prove to me you can handle me jobs. Take a look at this here task. Does that seem like somewhat you could do? Uh, tail and toe. <laughs> Maybe. Aw, JC, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm glad you could make it, though. I'm sorry that work is hectic. That's never fun. Uh, I could probably do this, but... I just don't want to do it at this moment, because uh, I thought you were for... You are rain friend, but you are not. <laughs> you have the same symbol above your head. <laughs> I didn't think JC was leaving. <laughs> Scribble seeks the aid of an able-bodied adventurer, like cat and dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I'm a bad influence. <laughs> but don't, don't watch me. Don't do that. Do your work. <sighs> you look like an adventurer gets around. Mayhap you have noticed the cowgirls and jackals at each other's throats of late. I've never seen anything quite like it, and the bloodshed only worsens by the day. If this continues, I dare say that one of these groups will wipe out the other before long. Now it bears mentioning that this species of coral is a native to Velbrand. By rights, they shouldn't even be here. Nay, I believe they were smuggled. I know a merchant who may have a hand in these dealings. Her name is Rakantai, and after some probing, I've come to believe she's somehow involved. I have questioned her myself, but she is like to flee at the first sight of yellow. That's where you come in. But why doesn't he just take his jacket off to talk to her? It's seriously. I need you to speak with her and learn all you can. Take a look around. She's bound to be nearby. This lady bringing the, the cats. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look at this fountain statue. That's cool. I know she's a mermaid, but she reminds me of the play, Loveless. Jesse. Amphibious. 
Yes. I know that's true. I've not really seen a winged mermaid before. It fits though. <sighs> ah, I gotta touch this bad boy. New town, gotta do all the things. Take all the quests, touch all the crystals. I don't blame you, JC. I do the same thing. <laughs> it's like at least some kind of entertainment in the background. You can glance at it every so often. Look at this cat lady smuggling in the cats. Who would have guessed? What's this? So they've sent ye to do their dirty work? Well, you'll never take me alive! Never! Great. We gotta chase her. Where'd she go? Is that her out there? What is this purple thing down here? Is that her? It is her. Why is she purple? Is she gonna fight me? doesn't look quite right. Oh! Ah! <laughs> so she won't even do her own dirty work. Ah! What now, cats? P please don't hurt me. I didn't do nothing wrong. I smuggled in the corals for breeding like he asked, but that's it. I hit the one set of the jackals into a frenzy, I swear. Eh? The yellowjack sent ye and not the pirates? Not no pirates? Why the hell didn't you say so earlier? Well, you've caught me. I'm behind the corals at Alport. Those good for nothing pirates have me breed jackals for him too. With the right trade, they make for dusty watchdogs and the like. But the pirates wanted more, and that's why they asked me for the curls that they did. I smuggled them in, but the pirates took them before I could finish the job. Suppose they didn't want to wait for the breeding, but the buggers let them escape. Wanting to cover their tracks, I'm sure. You hurry and tell those yellow jackets I ain't to blame, you hear? Well, you should give me a cat. You know. So I don't talk. Are these dummies or? Level 54 assassin. Whoa. I was gonna jump in and help, but you know, that guy seems to have it. He seemed to be doing okay. <laughs> So this is not part of the main story, but I figured we'd just do this because it sounded interesting. Ah, you're back. What can you tell me of Rakantai's dealings? She claims to be a victim as well. Hmm. It was her greed that brought the corals to Vilbra, and she is sorely mistaken to think the Yellow Jackets will turn a blind eye. Lurk my words, she will be held accountable. At any rate, we now know the corals and the jack jackals are trying to tear each other to shreds. The pirates have been quite careful not to leave any clues, but we've managed to capture Rakante's assailants. They're being questioned as we speak, and it won't be long before we track down the pirates. Don't worry, friends. The Yellow Jackets will see them brought to justice. Yeah, I heard that. That's really cool. In the meantime, there is still the matter of Rakante and the beasts running around. Beasts running around amok in the fields. I shudder to think what may happen should the jackals and curls continue fighting for much longer. I have a plan, but your assistance is essential to its success. Let me know when you are ready to begin. Nice. Sorry, all my nose was very stuffy. I'm gonna take a swig of my drink real quick. <sighs> now 
no steez as yet, but I probably will. So thank you. <laughs> thank you in advance. Yeah, I think I doomed myself by leaving my window open the last few days. <laughs> the allergies are being really bad. Oh, the roll action interject. What is that? Ooh. Wait, he's got two? Oh, this is how you could get a little doggy? Or a kitty? Uh, can you only do one or the other? I mean, naturally, I need to get man's best feed. Okay, cool. I just was like, if I have to choose one, obviously I'll go with the dog first. But <gasps> that's so fun. <laughs> oh, no, JC. Well, I hope you complete it well. <laughs> Love a random meeting <laughs> on a Thursday. Rikante has admitted to breeding jackals for pirates, but I fear she may be concealing more to be smuggled somewhere. I bid you speak with her once more to prove my suspicions true. If she wishes to play the role of victim, perhaps this time she will be more, th more forthcoming with information. Tell her that although we cannot grant her impunity, her cooperation will ensure a lighter sentencing. Can I take both of them at the same time? Now that we need to do something about the curls running wild in Vilbrand. Jackals have greatly reduced their numbers, but the presence of curls will upset the balance of predation in Elport. Given time, they will establish a breeding population and perhaps even prey upon more than just animals. <laughs> a large number of merchant sailors and travelers pass through Elport daily, meaning a great many people will be at risk unless we stop the curls here and now. As much as it pains me to say this, they must be done away with. I like this no more than you, but the we Yellow Jackets must put the safety of the people above all else. Reports indicate that curls were last sighted somewhere in the Skull Valley. When you are ready, pray seek them out and do what needs to be done. I approve. I definitely approve, JC. Hey, if you break them, you know. He can't talk. Okay, we, we should go and do the quest we came here for, too, I guess, while we're at it. Since that's, uh, you know, for the main story. And that's somewhere over here. It'll, uh, well, not the main story, but it's for our job class. Which, I want to get other, uh, we'll do other jobs. Like, I want to be a hunter. So, alright, let's speak with Red. Where is he? Quiet, Bosh. Is he in here? Ah, he is. It confused me. One of Word Zone's girls, are you? Well, I have known that sprat, si sprat since he was knee high to a. Well, he was always kind of a big fellow. Was Word Zone. And now they call him X Master, eh? Not a subtle lot, you marauders. So I suppose you're to hunt down our local trouble. What you need to do then is take yourself northwest up towards Camp Skull Valley and give a good whistle. The mean bugger you're after, his name's Patripat. Patripatan, by the by, will come running across the weeded plains. He'll think you're trespassing on his territory, see, so you better have that cleaver of yours ready. Ocean's blessings be upon ye. Well, I am tidier than uh, the average dragon girl. I did make my person small, but this class of people is actually really big. <laughs> Oh. 
good boy. Sorry. My dogs. The dogs. Be a dogs. Yes, a dragon hobbit. It's perfect. All right, let's. Uh, gotta go out to Skull Valley. Yeah, they're really big. There's some fine ale being poured as we speak. Don't smell it, no. Gosh, I clicked it the wrong way. I'm still learning. Controls are so used to, well, uh, I'm not used to playing MMOs with controlling. I like that you can, but. I gotta look into macros more and stuff. I uh, did, did learn a macro for sprinting, so I've done that. But I kind of was curious about doing other macros. Wow, look at these guys. Creepy. There you go. This is not the guy we have to fight, but I just have a feeling he'll attack me. Oh, I hit the wrong one. I want to see what the new move does. Try that one for next. Fate. Are those aliens? No. Ay, ay, ay. It's a lot going on right here, right now. <laughs> Good luck, JC. You got this. Ugh, they're coming towards me, aren't they? Oh, boy. Or stop. Leave it. Oh shoot. Of course there's more. I haven't attached any potions to my hop bar yet, which I need to start doing.
said somebody who kindly did something to help. Get away from that guy, the pelican. Ugh. <laughs> they disappeared. I was gonna congratulate them. Yeah, you got it. You know it. Just take on anybody. <laughs> Just an axe to the face and a stun kick to the butt. Take on anything. Oh! Hello! You're interesting. That's cool looking! Into what those do. Oh, of course. Help us pelican. Oh, are you helping out, pelican? Got him. Man, we are so good. This game is so fun. I'm having so much fun. Because it's just it's so fast-paced. and I, I don't know. It's just fun. We gotta talk to that lady again. But let's go talk to this cat. Because we beat that cat monster. Wait. Where, <laughs> where are we supposed to go? Is it back here? Oh no, we gotta go back to the Marauder's Guild. Kee hee. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got the ether, so we can just travel back. But we'll go back here. We will go uh, to the guild real quick. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, talk to the axe guy, and then we will go to see about getting this pup. At least we could get the puppy today. Nope. 
actually I forgot there's a wood right here. He's rounding wedge. Ethan Shard. Good. Right next to it, but that's okay. Even better. <laughs> right? Big axe to follow. I've been in contact with Renfrid, and he had naught but praise for you, Burr. Your representation of the guild has been exemplary. There is one more task I would have you complete this day, a task that will demonstrate for, for you just how strong you have become. Report to Skapskim, where he waits on the bank of the Angel's River, and he shall help you unveil the untapped power of your axe. Well. Is it? It's over there. I'm gonna go back to that place and get this puppy real quick. At least. At least. I don't even know where it was. Alport. That's Wineport. Costa del Sol, which I'm kinda excited to go to. Talk to that ladies. See what over here? Okay. Yeah. Should probably have us do something wild. The yellow jackets want to know if I behind more jackals. Uh, fine, I'll come clean if it means preserving me liberty. All the jackals are long gone, but there's a wolf pup I was looking after not too far from here. Jackals are easy to come by an airport, but wolves, you can be sure folk will pay good money for them. With the yellow jackets breathing down me neck of late, though, I haven't had time to care for him. The poor thing's probably too weak from hunger to move. What? I'll tell you where I hit him, but if you want to take him, best move now. What with the corals running wild, killing the pirates, jackals, and all, it won't be long before they start snooping about for more animals to trade. I have to warn you, though, he may be a pup, but he'll likely make a meal of anyone what gets close to him. Try winning over his stomach with this here succulent bone. If that ain't enough, try rubbing his belly to soothe him. You can bet he'll be following you everywhere. I left the critter in Quarterstone. Hurry before the pirates find him. Scoot, scoot. Wait a That far. So, I wonder if it be easier to go down there though. Okay. Go this way. Do -do -do -do. We're off to save a little pup. 
hopefully they'll take care of my big pups. <laughs> but they should be fine. They did just go O-U-T right before I streamed. Uh oh. This is not what I want to do. Just gonna slide on through this if I can. Oh jeez. No! Shoo shoo away with you. I would do it, but I'm on a mission to save a little dog. <gasps> there he is. Starry pup. Oh, oh. He's so cute. Grr. Yep, yep, yep. So now we must <laughs> Well, they like pups too, so just making a new friend for them. <laughs> we did it! Soon the starved pup. Okay. Now I have to report back to that guy. Whoa. Like a hermit crab. Giant helmet. This is crazy. Easy peasy. As long as we can avoid Orox again if the fate starts up again. Oh, good, 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 good. Wahoy, mahoy. That name just cracks me up. Wahoy, mahoy, there, laddie. I heard from Rakantai you went looking for the star puppet Quarterstone. Did you have any luck? Yes. Ah, so this is the pup for Conti has been hiding. Well done. She was here not long ago, as a matter of fact. It seems she is willing to cooperate with the authorities and help set things right. But that's not all, friend. I know. <laughs> we got lucky. That I was very nervous about that. <laughs> That's not all, friend. While you were searching for this pup, a group of pirates related to the investigation was taken into custody. We couldn't have done it without your help. The ring leader is yet to be found, but perhaps now Aleport can enjoy a moment of respite. <gasps> so cute, oh my gosh. So cute. All that remains is what to do with this pup. He seems to have taken a liking to you. Hmm, perhaps it would be best if you'd look after him. There's simply no room for him at the headquarters, and letting him wander about on his own is out of the question. I realize how sudden this is, but please give him a good home. I will gladly take him. <sighs> minions. Now we have minions. You've tamed a whistle with which you can summon your very own minion. To learn the call minion action, you must first use the whistle. Once you have used the item, a new entry will appear in the minion guide under character in the main menu. You can either initiate the action from this menu or set it to your cross, cross hotbar and initiate it from there. To send your minion away, simply reselect the summoning icon. Minions can be summoned or dismissed at any time and the whistle has no recast timer. Once you have learned this summoning action, you will never lose it and it can be used with all classes or jobs. While minions do not generate any enmity, neither will they participate in battle. If you are KO'd, your minion will simply wander off back to wherever it is it rests until you call upon it again. <laughs> it just goes into the void. Untradable item. This item is yours and yours alone. Cool. The unique, the unique item. Can never possess more than one at a time. Cool. Sweet. Say it was under here. Under. D 
did it. Yes, no more dog nappers. Cool, I am so excited that we got that. I've been wanting a puppy. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you are new here. And keep an eye on the community tab because I'll total post what I'm streaming next. Tomorrow night, we are having taking a little break from this Final Fantasy. And we are going to do a little family game night for everyone. So I hope to see you all then. And if you want any of my, uh, if you're interested in any of my other activities on the internet, in the description box underneath this video, I will have all my links. Okay, that's enough out of me. Thank you guys so much. Have a good night.